I specifically remember my first championship overseas. I remember it. It was the it was the craziest. It's funny you ask that. It's the craziest situation. So, we had a guy on our team. I played with him the season before, and he was like the leading scorer of the league that year. He made it to a team. They was actually looking for a player in my position, and since we played together, he was like he told the coach. Coach gave him the okay. I got on. Um, I signed to the team. It was actually perfect for me because I was looking at that team the year before. So it all kind of just went like perfect. Like it just lined up just the way it was supposed to. First beginning half of the season, I was playing okay, you know, and then it was like a switch. He had some issues. Something happened. Whatever. It was the craziest situation. He had like some. He had literally had a mental breakdown. Midway through the yeah. season, just an absolute mental breakdown and had to leave the team, go home. Like it was, I never seen nothing like that before, you know, but thank God he's doing better now. hundred percent. He's doing better right. now. But once he kind of like fell off and he left, my whole game just turned up. I went from averaging like 17 to like four straight games of like 30, 35, 40. And I just like, my game just took off. It's just like mm-hmm. out of out of nowhere, my game just took off. And the thing that I struggled with was believing in myself. Like, is this just for now, or am I this good of a mm-hmm. player? Mm-hmm. Am I really this good of a player, or is this just something that's going to come and go? Because in college, we had a great team, and I never really had a coach that just. You're the guy. I believe in you 100%. Lead us to the championship. I didn't have that. And so I played a little bit of minor league. I never really, we won a championship in the minor league, ABA, but I, it wasn't, to me, I wasn't really real because this is not their full profession. This is what guys do on the side, still want to play the game. Once you cross overseas mm-hmm. and you start playing with pros every single day, like this is what we do all day, every day. This is our only job. This is what we're focused on. You know, that's why it's more serious to me in my eyes of how I saw it. So on a bigger stage and I'm in this situation, I'm playing so good. It's the doubt that am I really this good of a player? And that really was the thing that, I struggled with is wondering, hey, are you really good? I really went on like a tear, like, yeah, started playing amazing. And like, it was one, like, that was my first championship that season. I won, I broke a rebounding record for one game. I had like 29 in the game. Um, I won MVP that year. I won finals MVP that year. That was the first winning, uh, first championship. The team, that team has won in like, 10 years up until that time. And I don't even think they won one since then. And that was 2000, what, 15? So eight years ago, I don't think they won another one since. So, wow. but for me, it was just doubt. I had to just get over the doubt in myself that, hey, you are the player that you are. And you're. this is not an accident that you are this good and you can lead this team to a championship. So that was probably, I would say, my biggest, biggest moment I had to get over. Like my biggest, um, yeah, that that kind of held me back. That's 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 awesome. That's a, that's a good uh, story and a good point. Um, I mean, I know a lot of athletes that go through, you know, doubt in that mm-hmm. confidence thing. I definitely been through it as well. Um, now, did the doubt that was it just kind of internal turmoil or did it seep out into play at all? No, nah, it actually didn't seep out into the play, which was, um, it was crazy how it, it was all forming because I was playing on a level I had never played before. And it's like, it mm-hmm. almost like mm-hmm. it scared me. Like, because you always see other players and you look at other players, they went to this big school they came from this organization. Yeah. They were the big team. So it makes sense why they're playing good. I've never had those opportunities to be on the best club or get the most money or get the most opportunity. I was just a guy trying to scrape by 
just to play the love of the have the love of the game and do what I want to, you know what I'm saying? Just enjoy playing the game on a professional level. I'm I'm just happy to be here, basically. And right. then it didn't dawn on me, it's like it's you're more than happy to be here. You belong here and you're dominating here. Like you're not just an average player, you're better than that. You know, and I've never had that recognition before in my life from myself and from my coach, you know, because the coach, he bought into me. He seen how good I was and he was like, hey, you're the guy, 100%, do your thing, and just gave me free reigns. And that was the first time in my career that a coach was like, here, free reigns, go, go be great. So it was a testament to him to see that and not try to hold me back because that's some in some situations yeah. that will happen like a coach coaches won't let you be all that you can be mm-hmm. and so that was at, at an early age to have a coach say hey go be great go be great and i was yeah. able to continue to do what i did it really let let me see that okay i i can really be this person i can really be I can really, I really am great. Not that I can be, but I really am great. Right. So, yeah. Hey, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the show. Please subscribe on our YouTube, Spotify, Apple, and wherever you listen to your podcast. I greatly appreciate it.